All right, I'm going to start sharing some experience from having hosting my own things because there's so many things to make nowadays that if you're just shooting them off to Superbase or Netlify, it can get really expensive. So what I want to do is share some of my experience with Coolify and then how to self-host really easily. Now, Coolify has good docs to get started on self-hosting. They even have a link to Hetzner, so you can get going pretty quickly. I will one day go over that, but there's so many good videos on getting going with Coolify. What I'm going to show here, though, is how like you can build something in Lovable, but then instead of quickly pushing it and publishing it to its own thing or Netlify, we can publish it and then host it on our own Coolify. It's really easy, actually. Then we'll show how GitHub can use its webhooks to deploy it. And then I'll show how the DNS works so you can just see how easy it is to start spinning up your own uh, domain names. This one is actually already deployed, but I used a free GitHub tool because again, Coolify can host Gidea, which then is free. But I'm going to go back to GitHub for this video. So here is this app, and you can see that it wants to go to this repo, and that repository is a private one. So here I am in my private GitHub repo. It would work with public. And so I want to deploy this. So I would go to my Coolify system, and I would basically, I could start a new project. I could just start putting some websites under here. It's fine. You might want to make a project represent like everything in that project for the website if you then want Superbase because it can host that in Postgres or whatever. So we're going to just make a new uh, website. Now, you could use this app. You could use a public repo. I'm going to use this private one. And the private one just is easier because if you work for some companies, they won't let you install an app for GitHub. So you can just use the private one and then use your key or token. Now, with the key token stuff, they have good docs on how to do that. Once you set it up, you'll have your key token from Coolify, and I'll show some screenshots. And then from there, you would upload that to GitHub. Again, I'll show some screenshots, because it's a lot of stuff to mark out of the video that's uh, secret stuff. But once you have that, I'm going to go to my local host. So I could deploy to other servers, which is pretty cool. I'm just going to do it on this server, not my local host, but on the server. And then I'm going to use this one. So now I'm going to go grab the repository here. Oh, actually, sorry. I'm going to go grab it from here. I'm going to use HTTPS. I don't know if it matters, but uh, I have had more luck with that. And the branch is main. In the port, I'm going to leave it 3,000. I think this will all not work, but then we'll come back and fix it. So we're going to do netpacks, which some of this could be static, Docker file, Docker compose. We're going to start with netpacks. And... The thing is, screenshots, ChatGPT, Coolify, it knows about this stuff. So just throw it at ChatGPT and ask questions and, and give it a go. So I'm going to click continue. And then from here, we're going to get a bunch of options. What's cool is you can start to build up your environment variables that you might need later on for certain things. So you got that here as well. In this case, I am going to just do a random URL. So of course, that's a stupid URL, but I could call it whatever I want. But I'm going to stick to random just for a moment because I'm going to get rid of this one. And then most of the build stuff for this will be like this. But again, at show chat GPT your package.json and show it your vite config, your package.json, and it will explain to you what to put into these places. It's really not a big deal. And then I think if I got better at Nix packs, I'd even have an easier time. And then, of course, there's always a Docker process which I could do as well it, this is all like depends on the project and just depends on just my skills getting better over time I'm gonna click save all right if you don't click that save it just goes away some of these screens it doesn't some of it does so now let's give it a try just on a note when you do this you can still work in Coolify and everything we're gonna do here we're gonna see it trigger a build and that's going to be the cool part and then we'll be done all right says we're ready let's see what happens you might sometimes get a bad gateway so you can click on this guy here it took me a while to find that and we got bad gateway okay so what went wrong here let's find out if we go to logs we go to here so this is what happened last time and i have no freaking clue the answer i just know this is how i got around it now if we look here for a moment we're going to see lovable notice. I It's going to know I, I made a change. That's cool. So we're just going to go put that in here for this cost calculator. And give it a commit. Now let's go look at lovable. Watch what happens here. See how it figures it out. Now, 
we haven't set up GitHub webhooks yet, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to click redeploy. And we're going to see the deployment log take over and we're going to see the new commit. And if we click on that, one moment, if we click on it, it actually should have gone there. I think there might be a bug in there, it links. But if you go to it, you'll see that the commit is 86EE. So you'll see 86EE. Okay, so it's doing the deploy again. But back to this is I want to make sure not to mess with lovables. I could do the just approve, and I was having this trouble earlier, so I'm going to prove it. So let's, not that this matters, but let's save that. And we prove that the preview is working now before when I broke this, it wouldn't preview. So now we see it here. It's good, but we see it refreshing here and working. So what I want to do is add that back, but I'll do that after. Um, but we have a fail. Let's go see. I think we're going to have a port conflict. So that port conflict <clears throat> I fixed, and I want to show how I fix it. Like I said before, I moved. I'll share this file in the notes below. But as I updated the, the calculator's Vite config to be a little bit more dynamic here, so Lovable will be happy with 8080, and then I can set it to what I want. And then what I ended up doing was going into Coolify. And what I did was I set the ports to 3100 3, all the way down. And for better or for worse, I also set it here. So I would like to even go further and continue to experiment and remove these if possible. I don't know if I can though, like we'll find out. So anyways, these ports worked. I redid everything and it all just now no more bad gateway. Sometimes you'll get a bad gateway with port issues. Sometimes you'll get a bad gateway if you set this folder wrong. But you always have the logs, and you can always go in here and look and see when things line up or don't line up. So that's very helpful. All right, back to the rest of the recording. So on the GitHub webhook, we're just going to go here and grab this webhook. The So this button doesn't work. I think it's part of the other bug. So I'm just going to go grab this and go over to this guy. I'm going to go to Settings webhooks, add a webhook, then do that, and push events. So the next thing is to, oh yeah, you saw the URL, it's fine. The next thing is to show it the deployment. So I'm gonna go back to Lovable and do a quick edit, and then it should trigger the webhook, and the webhook should hit this build. And I know it works because I have other ones doing this, but sometimes it takes me a few tweaks there to get that right. So let's see what happens. And there's lots of waiting in this new AI world, I'll tell you that. Again, while you're waiting, go to the training site, consider joining or signing up to the training or jump into the newsletter to just keep up to date with, with this training course that's coming out to, to introduce a lot of these concepts and to just hopefully enable you to embrace this change. So here we get this new a style, pretty good. For me and then it should automatically commit and you know this because it's using my repo and if we go back to that repo we see the latest commit by lovable so we see it's working there and then if we go here to webhooks you'll see that it's done something and the nice thing about github and webhooks and gitia is that you can see the recent deliveries keep pushing. Now, if everything's working, that went to our place. But if you go here and we reload, we should get the new thing, but we don't. So let's go see why. All right, so I made the same mistake last time. So I'm cutting and I'm going to show. When I set up the webhook, I just forgot to, to put in the token. So the thing is, when you set up a webhook on GitHub with Coolify, the default, just like the docs say, is you have to put a secret in there. And that secret, you can make one up, use one password or something to generate it. But then you have to just make sure to put that same exact secret right here and everything will just work. And remember too, when you do a deployment with a webhook, it will say webhook right there. So it's pretty easy. All right, back again. But we're gonna re-deliver that. And then what we're gonna see here is it gets hit and we see it's from a webhook. So now let's see how long this one is. And then we'll see it working. And then that's it. After this, I'll do Superbase and how to go from a Coolify app, I have a nice uh, lovable app, sorry, that I built that needs Superbase. So I'm gonna show you how to deploy it in the next video over to Coolify from Lovable. Oops. It says it's done, so uh, a minute. Uh, so now let's go see if it's done. I'm gonna click on this guy and there we go. All right, so I cut this down a lot cause I wanted to go through it with you. Um, and you saw some struggles when I didn't cut it all the way. 
Um, but in the end, it wasn't that hard. Uh, ChatGPT got me going, um, setting those ports right, moving things over for the Vite config. So you can really get yourself to hosting in, in no time your own applications. The server I'm using, it, you can use DigitalOcean, you can use the one they suggest here. A lot of people seem to be using this guy here because it seems really affordable. I still use DigitalOcean, but I, whatever. The server doesn't have to be huge. Four gigs of memory is not bad. And then you could put a few instances on that. These sites are pretty darn light. So instead of Netlify where I have, this adds up. Look at all of these sites. Eventually I want to just put them all on my server so I don't have to pay Netlify. And then I can do some other stuff too. It's, there are some limitations in Netlify that I can do with my server. For example, I can put a site into a environment, into a project, and then that project could have its own Superbase, its own NADN and everything just talking to each other inside of there. I'll keep going at it. Let me know in the comments if you want any specific type of videos. The next one will be deploying Superbase inside of this environment, watching them communicate with each other inside of those, those containers and um, going from Lovable with uh, Superbase to Deployed.